Hello once more guys and welcome back to your fifth tutorial, your fifth C++ tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll talk about, we'll talk about getting user's input and storing it inside arrays and basically perform some simple calculations. So to get started first of all go ahead and open from our previous tutorial the main.cpp file. If you haven't done so, as I mentioned before, just pause, pause the video and go ahead and do so and then resume the video. So let's go ahead and get started. From our previous story, we learned how to declare an array. Well, it was an integer array, but this time we'll just declare a double array. And we'll name it just uh, user input. You can name it anything you like, it doesn't matter. Then we'll set the number of elements into three. So remember, uh, you can only hold three elements. Then we'll type a message for the user. Let's type C out enter the number of cars you wish to buy and remember this is just it doesn't really matter you can do whatever we just basically trying to learn the concept of storing users input inside arrays and performing simple calculations so this is just an example then we'll store that the number of cars the user wishes to buy inside the array we just declared which is user input and we'll store it in subscript 0 if you remember from our previous tutorial uh, since the array can only hold three elements it can hold one in subscript 0 the other one in subscript 1 and the other one in subscript 2 so next we'll ask the user to enter the amount of money you wish to spend in one car alright so he'll enter how much money he wishes to spend in one car and we'll store that in array subscript so the array we declare which is user input and this time in, subs in subscript 1 Alright, so now we know, well, we'll just perform a simple calculation. So, all we'll do is basically, first of all, let's just type user input. And this time, we got to put subscript 2, which is the last subscript in the, since the array can only hold three elements. And this, uh, and this uh, subscript will store, basically, the first number, which was an uh, the, the number located in user subscript 0 which is the number of cars the user wishes to buy user so we type user input subscript 0 and we'll multiply that by the amount of money he wishes to spend in one car so the amount he will spend in one car is in user input subscript 1 and the basically the total which all this does is multiply the number of cars by the amount of money you wish to spend in one car and display the total and the total will be stored in user input array 2 array subscript 2 sorry about that and then all we'll do is just see out and just tell the user your total is and then let's just see out user input subscript 2 which is where the total is stored and then we just type the end line so this is let's go over it one more time so first we declared our double array which can hold three elements then we ask the user to enter the number of cards he wishes to buy this is just an example remember you can do anything you want to this is just trying to explain to you or make you understand the concept of storing uh, users input in arrays so we'll get the number of cars the user wishes to buy and store it in user array subscript 0 and then second in the second subscript which is user input 1 we will store the amount of money he wishes to spend for one car then in the last subscript we will store the total which is we just multiply the number of cars by the amount of money and then just display that so let's build it and see if it works which it should work Let's see if it works as we actually plan it to do. So it takes so long to build, I don't know why. Visual Studio is pretty slow. 
well go ahead and compile yours uh, and if you're ready if you already compiled just run it and see if it does what we talked about here we go it just compiled let me run it so here we go we see the message enter the number of cards you wish to buy I wish to buy two cards enter the number the amount of money you wish to spend on in one car so I wish to spend about twelve thousand two hundred dollars twelve well that's not twelve thousand twelve thousand and twenty five cents in one car so this just multiply all this will do is multiply those two and store it in the array subscript two and then display that here we go your total is twenty four thousand and fifty cents so there we go guys, that was your tutorial on how to store user input in arrays and perform a simple multiplication. So next tutorial uh, will be tutorial 6, so please stick around for that and please check out all my other tutorials and please please subscribe, it truly means a lot if you do that. And any friend invites are also, av uh, are also very helpful, so thank you once again and please check out all my other videos and don't forget to subscribe, thank you.